So what are fillers and who's a good candidate? There's a bunch of different types of fillers on the market. The most commonly used ones are made of hyaluronic acid with a little bit of lidocaine, which helps to numb the patient. There's also biostimulators, there's Sculpture Radius, um, there's different types, but this is the one that I use the most, a hyaluronic acid based. There's different brands, whether it's RHA, um, Allergan products, which are the Juvederm line, Restylane products from Galderma. Um, and basically they're used, there's different thicknesses and viscosities of the fillers that have to be chosen appropriately for what area of the face you're treating at different, different depths of the face. Um, as we age, we lose collagen and elastin. So not only does the skin tissue get thinner and it starts to fall, we most commonly see heaviness that's happening in the lower face from volume loss in the mid face. So a lot of men and women will complain about nasolabial folds and jowling, kind of loss of contour in the jawline. Um, areas that we treat with filler can be in the temples for temporal hollowness. This happens as we age. It can make patients look um, cachectic and older than they actually are. Um, so I like to use a very thick filler here and we have to be careful with anatomy um, in, as far as what plane we're in um, and avoiding the temporal artery. It can be also used in the under eye to fill in the tear chop. This also is a sign of aging. The under eyes just get more hollow um, as we age. I like to use a very thin type of filler here that needs to be pliable um, and something that doesn't look too clumpy. Especially we have to be careful in patients who have very thin skin or who are very light um, skin tone because sometimes you can actually see the filler um, through the skin and we have to be careful here with anatomy as well. Um, filler can also be used for a liquid rhinoplasty. I absolutely love liquid rhinoplasties. I used to get them done myself because I was in a car accident um, that gave me a bump and kind of a, a sideways um, deviation. Um, I did end up getting a rhinoplasty with Dr. Truesdale, but I loved getting liquid rhinoplasty. It was kind of a good way to see if I liked the shape that it provided and it helped me to decide that I did want to get a rhinoplasty. Um, filler can also be used in the cheek. This is probably one of the most commonly requested areas to get filler done. As we age, um, after we hit our 20s and 30s, we really start to dissolve, um, you lose some fat, deep fat pads here in the cheeks. Um, and by filling up the cheeks, it also um, tends to help the appearance of the under eye and also helps the appearance of the nasolabial folds that fall um, from mid-face hollowing. Now, to go off of that, filler can also be placed in the nasolabial folds. We don't like to make this transition completely go away because that looks unnatural. So everyone, um, it is aesthetically pleasing to have a slight fold here, um, but some people do have a significant hollowing there that really bothers them. Lip filler, lip fillers are popping right now, um, a very highly requested um, procedure to be done in the office. I love doing lip filler. I use a method where I put, uh, apply a dental block. So I inject um, some numbing as if you were gonna go to the dentist, it gets you completely numb. And then I transfer the hyaluronic acid filler into an insulin needle, which is almost the smallest needle that's even made. It's about the size of two human hairs. Um, so I get much less um, bruising and swelling with this method and a really nice um, aesthetically pleasing result. Filler can also be used in the chin for a chin augmentation. This is a huge thing for a lot of people as far as facial balancing that they may not have thought about before. Um, and also in the jawline, I don't have anything in my jawline, but jawline contour also is a huge thing for a lot of patients. Filler is a great way to, in just one office visit, help patients leave the office feeling and looking refreshed. Literally has minimal downtime, maybe a, cup, a little bit of swelling for a few days, um, but it's one quick office procedure and it can be long lasting. Filler lasts anywhere on the spectrum of six months with the lighter, thinner fillers to as long as two years 
with some of our um, thicker fillers. There's been studies that some fillers last even longer, but on general, that's kind of the spectrum of how long a filler will last. I love it, patients swear by it, um, so it's a great way to help our patients um, feel their most confident self.